WED, July 5, 2017 High Resolution Render of the Google Pixel 2 XL Published by Android Police In just a few days' time Google will lift the lid on its next-generation Pixel 2 and Pixel XL 2. These new devices will be revealed to the world at a major event next Wednesday, October 4, and they look set to feature a host of improvements over their predecessors. Google's original Pixel was well received by fans, but rival manufacturers have raised the bar considerably, with many now producing devices with faster processors, better screens and improved cameras. The Pixel 2 and its larger XL sibling are likely to see some boosts to performance and specs, but here's five things we think they need if they have any chance of beating the current crop of phones from Apple, Samsung, and LG. Googly ahead of the Google Pixel 2 release date. Here's five things it needs to be a success. Almost every flagship phone that is launched over the past year feature water resistant designs. The latest iPhone, Galaxy S8 Note 8 and Xperia XC1 all include a casing that can cope with getting wet, and even some mid-range devices, such as Samsung's Galaxy A5, offer this feature. Google's original Pixel won't cope well if it gets a soaking, and this is something Google desperately needs to fix. Water damage is one of the most common ways people break their smartphones so included some form of resistance is now vital in any flagship. Google's current Pixel does support fast charging which means users can get 7 hours of usage after just 15 minutes attached to a plug. Fast charging is a very popular feature, but we'd like to see Google go one step further and include wireless charging. Samsung has had this feature on its phones for a while, and with Apple now including wireless charging on its new iPhone 8 and iPhone X it's likely more bars, restaurants and shops will make this hassle-free technology available. To make the Pixel charge in this way, Google would need to ditch the aluminium rear case as this isn't compatible with wireless charging. A glass design would be need to be incorporated, and we'll have to wait until Wednesday to see if Google has decided this charging technology is worth including. Apple Apple's iPhone 8 now features wireless charging. The Pixel was only launched last year, but it is already looking very dated. LG, Samsung, and Apple have all revealed new devices this year that feature edge-to-edge -edge screens which make phones with big bezels look like they are stuck firmly in the past. Going edge-to-edge -edge not only improves the viewing experience, but also means you get a much bigger display in a device that's physically smaller. Another thing that would improve the Pixel's desirability is more color options. The Pixel is currently only available in black or white which some may think is a little boring. HTC who is rumored to be making one of the PIXEL2 devices, has just launched its new U11 which features numerous colors including a stunning red and very shiny blue. Let's hope some of that color rubs off on the Pixel. Google Pixel need to follow its rivals by ditching the bezel more colors like those found on HTC's U11 would be welcome at Google's camera won a host of awards and receives one of the highest scores ever from the Xomark test. However, the Pixel didn't include a dual-lens camera something most of its rivals, including the much cheaper OnePlus 5, now have. Including a double camera on the rear of the phone, allows users to zoom and add slower-style effects to images. Samsung's latest Galaxy Note 8 even lets owners change the amount of blur in background after the picture is taken. It's clever stuff and means you can now take incredible professional-looking images using the device in your pocket. Google has created some clever software which mimics what a dual lens camera can do, but it's not as good as having the real thing. Google a dual lens camera would help improve image quality on the Pixel 2. Apple did it, HTC have done it, and now rumors are rife that Google is writing its new smartphone of the headphone port. Although many haven't had an issue with the socket disappearing from their phones, it can still be hugely irritating, especially if you want to charge the phone and listen to music at the same time. There is also the problem for anyone who has just treated themselves to a new pair of wired headphones as they won't connect without using an adapter. With wireless headphones becoming more popular we can understand why manufacturers are ditching this port as it frees up space inside for other technology. But we still think giving consumers access to the standard headphone socket is something Google Pixel fans would no doubt appreciate.